Well, the NFL keeps on rolling on. It's new free agents keep getting signed. Let's see. What did we get yesterday? We got uh, Calvin Ridley to the Titans. Yeah, the Titans are trying to put it back together. We got uh, Flacco in Indianapolis. Yeah, that's uh, that's that, insurance. <laughs> that's just insurance. That's you, okay. You, you should, can do worse for insurance. That's true. You have to have insurance. You have Anthony to. Yes. Richardson. The way that yes. he played last year, like you don't know anything about Anthony Richardson. He's already like he was already going to be a project. He played in what four games? In the four games, he looked all right. He looked you know? all right. He looked like a man on fire though. Yes, <laughs> he's but, like ah. <laughs> but how many full games did he get through? He had to leave That's a game because okay. he had a concussion. He had to leave a game because he hurt his shoulder. Is there then his anybody was over? Is there anybody else out there that you would rather have talking in Anthony Richardson's ear no, in the quarterback room than Flacco? Not many. Uh, I'll take Flacco. I'll take elite uh, Flacco. Of the, guy, of the backups that are available out there. From a, like a throwing perspective, yeah. Just, uh, just settling yeah. down and being an NFL franchise quarterback. The, these are your other yeah. options. These would be your Probably. other quote-unquote. You had Mariota, who went to Washington. Yeah. These would be your... Who's going to have a rookie. Your remaining quarterbacks that you could have had if you didn't sign Flacco. Jimmy Garoppolo. No. No. Ryan Tannehill. Eh. I could get behind Tannehill. Eh. Tannehill's fine. Would he teach him, though? Because Tannehill's he was... a little prickly. I think also Flacco's at a point in his career where he understands what it is. Yes, right. Yeah. And so part of the deal is to be a mentor. Get a little um, extra bag. Yeah. yeah. And so as long as he wants to, you know, do the physical work that he's got to do to get his body ready if he has to play, then... But, yeah, he's in there to also teach this guy how to be a, a pro. Your mm -hmm. other choices would be Josh Dobbs and Carson Wentz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I yeah, could get, Flacco's great. I could get behind, yeah, Flacco's So as long as everybody Tannehill. understands the dynamic in the room, which apparently couldn't be figured out in Cleveland because of that whole mess. I, I, they could implode this year. They I really they could. I'm, I'm here to watch it. I'm here to watch it mostly because I bagged on Baker Mayfield for so long that maybe it wasn't fully Baker's fault. That maybe that place is just cursed. Well, the thing is, is like I, Sean Watson. I like Stefanski, but the moves that they made, and I know it's not Stefanski's fault necessarily. I know, but two-time NFL Coach of the Year to give Deshaun Watson that contract after everything that he went through, yeah. and the kind of person that he is, clearly is, clearly is. I want nothing but bad things to happen to that franchise. We talked about this on Monday. Who's the better quarterback right now, Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson? Deshaun. Deshaun's better. But Is it? Russ plays games. Yeah, but when Deshaun plays, his numbers aren't horrible. Uh, if you looked at last year's But it's not what games. he was. He's not what he was, but he's better than what he had been. Let's go. He's, he's not $260 million guaranteed. Yeah, no. no, 100% not. He's... Nowhere near that, but as you go through the numbers, let's see, I'm pulling up his splits from last year. He had, ooh. Yeah, see, welcome to the program. He yeah, barely had over 1,000 yards and seven TDs, four interceptions. Oh. It might all come apart in Cleveland this year. Yeah. Like, if your coach and GM start, because uh, they'll be asked if, if Deshaun Watson cannot look like he once did, you know, in Houston. And then all the questions start, and if your coach and your GM get to a breaking point and they throw the owner under the bus saying, hey, we tried, we got shut down, talk to my boss yeah. in a press conference, look out. And that defense is going to be nasty. So defense if if, will be nasty if, they're carrying if Chubb the team. is healthy. I mean, they should have a lot of pieces and parts that you would need to, to get back in the playoffs, but... Obviously, the the most important parts there, uh, right there under center. So, but I just, I mean, you're talking about an entire franchise, basically all throwing the owner under the bus at some point. It could be wild. Well, you also have like a capable backup too, like James. And we Winston. know how much Browns fans love their owners. <laughs> yeah, ask yeah. Art Modell. Right. <laughs> It's why they had to go sign uh, Jameis Winston. When you look through it, so he really played in five games. Yeah. Uh, it, it's six, but he played against Indy. He had five pass attempts. So <laughs> see what I mean, dude. He, he Would you rather have games. Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson? Dang it, I might rather have yeah, Russell dude, Wilson. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like when he did play the full games that he did play, he was getting 200 yards 
in those games. But yeah, his passer rating is bad. His QBR is bad. His moral judgment is bad. <laughs> his judgment on who to throw to, <laughs> seven TDs, four interceptions, uh, bad. He's, he's got another dude. Dude, I think you want to talk about everyone jokes about the Russell Wilson contract being bad in Denver, and it is bad. He didn't even hit the Denver extension by the time they got rid of him, no. right? The Deshaun Watson contract. It may go down as the worst contract yep. ever. Oh go my down. god, it's horrible. It'll go down. Only like three baseball players. I mean, have owners never go that. out publicly <clears throat> and chastise other owners, and everybody was on the record ripping Haslam for that deal. That's how bad it was. Well, he got desperate. It's clear he got desperate, and he thought he could get a top five quarterback, and he could get him, not necessarily on the cheap, but he thought he could go and get him, and he was going to do it, and he thought this team would finally be pushed over the top. And then he gets Deshaun Watson, and, oh, what do you know, after taking a year off, then having another year basically taken away because of your suspension – and by the way, now you really don't seem to care because you got your money and then you've got everything else that you're dealing with. It's one of the most just crazy decisions of all time when yep. you look back on it and Monday morning quarterback. And and there's no desire by Cleveland to bring Flacco back. I mean, I, I don't want to sit here and like lightning in a bottle struck and then midnight struck real quick on Flacco. Is it because you don't want Deshaun Watson looking over his shoulder? Uh, yeah. I, that's, that seems to be all the reports out of there was you, you can't have that drama in the quarterback room. So if you can't move Deshaun, mm-hmm. if he's going to have to be the guy, then you got to do whatever you can to try to get Deshaun comfortable to get back to the level that he was in Houston. So Gosh, man, we, we call NBA players fragile. Yeah, some of these guys in the NFL are just as fragile, but they hit each other and they play hard. Oh yeah, oh, dude, some of, some of the most fragile egos are the football players. Yeah, oof. I mean, because if they have to bench, if they have to bench Deshaun in the middle of the season for performance, not for injury or anything else, but for performance, he's done. He's done. And then they're going to be looking at a situation like the Broncos were with a contract you can't move. And how do we just eat it? And a salary cap situation, and I don't know what it is, but and yeah. then yeah, and then maybe wager your draft, picks and then for you a young and then kid. you have is the is the uh, is the owner going to tell the guy he's got to play him, tell the coach he's got to play him or not? Is who's in charge? That's the next piece. I'm like, like this thing could unravel by week six, and I'm here for it. He, I'm definitely here for he, it. He hasn't had a uh, three uh, a three thousand yard passing season since 2020. Yeah, dude. If you combined his last two years, you combine the passing yardage, it wouldn't be half of 2020. I'm telling you, dude, Russell Wilson. I'd Dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. Well, it'll be interesting to see when their schedule comes out, too, if they've got a lot of division games early. Yeah. Like if they play Pittsburgh, <clears throat> Baltimore, and Cincinnati. Cincinnati all in the first month and a half, it's and not, they lose all three of those. It's not going to go well. I have no idea what's going to happen there.